Today I wanted to do a video on party dresses because I know that party season is coming up with it being Thanksgiving, Christmas, and all that fun stuff. And New Year's. New Year's is important too. So I wanted to just give you a few ideas of how to maybe winterize your dresses and winterize your wardrobe for parties. I have my party makeup on. I did like a purple smoky eye, if you can tell. My makeup always looks the same, like no matter what I do. <laughs> it always just looks neutral, but trust me, this is daring for me. So I did like a purple smoky eye. And then I also did a sparkly pink lip, which is different than my normal one. And um, yeah, this is outfit number one. And this would be really, really good for anybody with a boyish figure, which is basically like you don't gain weight very easily and you don't have a lot of curves. So you're kind of straight up and down. This dress is from Benetton. It's like a kind of a tie-dye effect. Um, I don't usually wear it like this, but I'm wearing it like this just for the purpose of this video. I usually wear it cinched at the waist with the belt. It's kind of gathered as well, so it kind of creates like more volume, so you look curvier. And then I have just black footless tights on underneath. And then shoes-wise, I know you probably won't be able to see. Let me just take them off. Booties. Um, these kind of fit in with the edgy tone or the ed edgy feel of the dress. I tied my hair back because I feel like if you're wearing a halter neck, you wanna show off the detail and you wanna show off your shoulders. So um, I tied my hair back in like a loose, messy bun. It's really messy right now. And then I have my gold studs from Accessorize. I know you're probably like, oh my God, you're so boring. That's all you ever wear these days. But I'm just on like a Accessorize studs kick right now, so just bear with me. Really good idea if you are going to a party is to wear a clutch instead of a big ass bag because you don't want to be carting that around with you or wherever you're like dancing or sipping cocktails or whatever you're doing. So this is from my mom. It doesn't have a brand name. It's just basic black leather clutch with like a gold detail. It just fits really nicely under your arm if you're dancing. Really adorable leather jacket from H&M, I think. Yeah, H&M. And that's the entire look. So I don't know how much you can see, but that's what it looks like. This is dress number two, and this would be perfect for somebody with an hourglass figure like me, or a fuller figure, or um, just like curves in general. Just not broad shoulders, because broad shoulders should not wear cap sleeves like these babies here. This is a dress from French Connection. It's one of my favorite dresses because I just like the waist cinching dresses. They suit me better. The more structured ones, they're just better for my shape. It has a square neck and these little cap sleeves, like I said. I have just ripped navy blue tights on underneath. Um, and then these shoes, which are so cute. They've got little bows on them. These are from New Look. I have another clutch, but it's got this gold chain. And I went really matchy-matchy with the gold. I know it's kind of matchy-matchy, but... Sometimes if you're wearing a really classic piece, it's kind of better to go with the flow and just be matchy. I just have this, which is from Zara, and it's just a blazer. And actually, if you were working in an office or something like that, and you had to go to an office party, this would be the perfect look. This is the entire look. This is what it looks like. This is a dress from Whistles. It's like that duck egg blue. I think that's what it's called, duck egg blue. It's kind of like a smoky, yeah, like a smoky light blue. It's also got pockets in the front and it's got a zipper, a silver zipper down the whole entire length of the dress. These pockets and a kind of like a tulip skirt, which a tulip skirt just is like an upside down tulip goes like that. This dress is amazing for apple shaped people, apple shaped girls who gain weight in their tummy or their midsection. Um, the little bit of cinching here uh, kind of creates the illusion of a slimmer waist without um, restricting it too much because sometimes if apple shaped girls, if you wear big belts, like waist belts, it just makes it look more bulky. So this zipper here creates the illusion of like a longer, leaner midsection. So that's really good. And then the tulip skirt will give, and the pockets will make your hips look bigger so everything's more balanced out, if you know what I mean. I have it on with some blue tights, the navy blue ribbed ones that I had on earlier, and the same shoes. Keep in mind the v-neck is just really, really good for apple shapes. Then for a clutch, I have this bedazzling, bedazzled silver clutch. And this, I'm sorry, it's actually from my grandmother. So again, I don't have like a 
shop name or anything to give you, but it's got this cute little handle. So, I hope that'll be cool. Yeah, it does kind of fit. It's kind of cute. Silver earrings as well from Accessorized. Silver kind of ties in with the zipper. I picked something that would also flatter an apple shape. A tulip um, pea coat, if that makes sense. Pea coats are just, they look like this. I'll show you now. Something like that. Think of Jackie O and Audrey Hepburn, that kind of style, that's a pea coat. Um, so this is from H&M, but it's a few years old, and it's grey, and it's got that kind of tulip shape to it, so it's good for apple shapes. This is the final look. You can see the dress. If you want to get a better look at any of the items that I showed in this video, just check out my blog, anasakoni.com. It's just my name, but um, I'm just going to have pictures up there of everything so that you guys can see better. And also I leave links for where you can get everything or similar-ish items. So I hope that helps you guys. Don't forget to check out my daily vlog channel where I upload a video every single day and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.